in the last part, I was working on just destroying tweets and, and getting that functionality in place. Alongside of it, I wanted to render a proper empty state. So if there were no tweets, for instance, th there would be some sort of message saying so. Um, even no, it's like it's completely simple. Just nothing to see here is what I have by default. So I stumbled through that and I finally figured out a solution that actually seems to work. Um, so on the create turbo stream .erb file, we have this method doing work that's basically creating a new instance of a tweet and, and we're identifying it as tweet.new. So behind the scenes, you should see a empty ID. If I refresh the page, you should see a turbo frame new tweet tag and it's gonna render this empty, empty state assuming there's no tweets yet. Then on the index HTML page, we're gonna render this fancy uh, set of code that I wrapped first in an empty ID uh, div. So we'll be able to reference that when we destroy this. And then on this action, we're gonna render basically by default, this is what renders by default if there are no tweets basically. But if there are, then we on the destroy action, we'll go find that update empty ID and then render the empty state. So all that to say, when there is a tweet, we won't render that message if there is, or we will, yeah, we won't render that message if there is not a tweet or if there are no tweets, we, we bring back that message in real time. So the whole point is to do it in real time instead of trying to do it manually, which is kind of a, a drag with uh, Rails in this case. So this is a way you could do it. Another way you could do it is just crazy CSS hack uh, using the first child kind of thing. So this, this might always be present. You're just hiding it with CSS up to you. That's a solution I found. It's kind of confusing, I know, uh, but it seems to work. So I, that's that part. Um, I want to move on to retweets next. So I think we'll do that. And what we're going to start with with retweets is thinking about it as an additional tweet, but extending the tweet model that we have today to include a tweet ID. So it essentially allows you to relate a tweet to another tweet. And that can be confusing in itself, but it's really quite simple. We're just going to put a tweet ID on the tweet itself, and that will allow you to take a tweet and create another one, but still reference the old one, if that makes sense. So you'll be able to display it in a separate way. So to kick things off there, I'm going to start with a uh, migration and we'll uh, extend the tweets model in this way. So we'll say rails generate migration and we'll call it add tweet ID to tweets. And then we'll say tweet ID will be an integer. And we'll run that command. It'll create a new migration for us. If you want to check that out, it should be the next file in the list. There it is right there. And I'll just go ahead and migrate. Now we need some routing for this. For now, I'll just do the retweet portion. So I'll just say we're going to do a member do block. And this allows you to add to your existing RESTful resources. So I'll make it a post request and just call it retweet. And this will essentially allow us to make use of our existing controller, tweets controller, and add a new action there. So I will do that in a second. Before we do, let's get the model intact. So I will go to that. And nothing really changed when we added that ID, but we need to extend the tweet now to associate to itself, essentially. So we could say belongs to tweet and you could say optional to true so it doesn't have to have this association optional essentially says that if a tweet is created it doesn't need a tweet id and that's what we want and then i'm going to create a method called tweet type this will allow us to you know signify what types of tweets we want these to be so um, there's in the real tw twitter there's a quote tweet there is a retweet and then a traditional tweet so we aren't going to do quote tweets, but I'll go ahead and add that to the mix. And here's how we're going to figure out what is what. So if there is a tweet ID, which means there is a related tweet and a body, that's going to essentially mean it's a quote. Now we don't have the functionality in this app, uh, nor did I create it, but it is one I'd invite you to go try to get, you know, to work. Um, you would essentially just need to create a retweet functionality. Uh, and be able to include the body text with it. So it's it's basically just uh, double duty. Wouldn't be too hard to do. Um, so here's how we're gonna signify what's what and render it correctly in the view. Uh, we'll do kind of a, some dynamic Ruby 
with partial rendering and based on these naming conventions we'll render a correct one so that's how i'm going to go about it anyway okay so now with that in place we can go into our controller oh i should note like this will be able to be called like tweet that tweet type and we'll be able to get these values back in the views or controllers wherever you're going to use it that's the handy reason you might want to put this in a model uh, specifically so in our controller we can now extend it to include a retweet and what i want to do is kind of mock what we did with our create action so we'll say tweet equals tweet dot find params id basic uh, rail stuff there just finding it and then we need an instance of retweet which we can get by saying current user tweets dot new then we'll pass in the tweet id from the existing tweet so that allows us to create that retweet essentially and then we can just go about it like we did with our create action so i might just honestly I'm going to copy this down, but I'm going to change a couple of things. We'll keep the format and we need to make sure this is retweet. And for the format HTML part, we'll do a little bit different. I'll just say, in this case, I'll use the block bracket notation instead of the whole block. And we'll say redirect back. This is kind of a fancy built in. You could give it a fallback location of tweet so the the core tweet you're retweeting and then it gets passed an alert saying could not retweet or whatever you want to put there now since we need that id we can permit it here too we'll need to pass that through i don't think we necessarily need that but i'm, I'm going to put it since we have a turbo stream we can add it just like we did everything else so following that convention we'll say retweet since that's the name of the action and we'll say turbo underscore stream and that erb and here we'll have basically what we did with create so turbo stream dot prepend that tweets id is what we're looking for a do block we'll render tweet and then tweets will be the instance of tweet i believe okay so going back now if we let me create a tweet and then i want to sign in as my other user so john doe and now i can retweet this um, this button does nothing at this point so we need to fix that i need to spell this correctly too so i'll save that down and let's go back to those controls. Remember I created a partial and it's gonna be right here, the green stuff. So the link now um, is just a static link. We need to update that to be a button too, similarly to our delete button. Make sure you do the equal sign there so it gets rendered. And then with the new path, uh, we're gonna have this new path called retweet tweet path and that was added when we did our routing so we're basically nesting within the tweets routing and then getting a post action to retweet so that allows us to get the tweet id and that request automatically if that makes sense we do need to pass the tweet through so that's how it expects it and we could signify it's a post request similarly to that we did to the um, delete request then i'll just update this class to use the right notation or syntax i should say and this needs to be a do block. Finally, this needs to close out that. And this says three right now. We can get that real data in a second once we're done here. So now this is going to link to somewhere. And um, I'm going to make sure it does. So here's the actions going to tweets. Then to retweet, we're passing the ID of the current tweet in, which is how we're going to capture that in the controller if that makes sense. So we're finding that idea of that one tweet. Then we're creating a new tweet based on the current user who's retweeting and passing the tweet ID of the original tweet. So I know that's a mouthful, but it's quite simple at the, at the core of it. You just be able to create a tweet off another tweet. Okay, so I'm gonna create a retweet partial instead of our tweet partial. And this will be very similar to our tweet, but I'm just gonna add some more data just so we can signify what is a retweet and what is not a retweet. So I'm going to paste in the tweet originally and at the 
uh, top, I'm going to paste in some more code. Right here. And it's an icon. It says retweeted by the tweet's current username. So that will get um, done. If I do that, um, nothing's going to happen. What? Why is that? Should have worked. Let's double check our work. If I click this link, what happens? We get a get request, which isn't what we want. So why is it not a post request? Okay, so it's doing stuff. It's just, for some reason it's going and doing a get request. Okay, let's go one step further. Let's come back to that. And yeah, that's fine. Do it. Did I need to? Okay, I know why. This is why it's wrong. So we actually need the instance of the tweet it's um, referring to. So not just the tweet itself. So all these tweets in here need a tweet tweet. I think so that will be the instance of the the new or the old tweet. Okay, we got a post request, so that's promising. Um, redirected to retweet. So something's up is the problem. So here, if I do debugger, I'm going to do a little debugging. So with rail seven, you got this new debugger command. I'm going to run basic rails here because the bin dev is kind of hard to debug with. So I'll boot that up, re -re refresh this page. I'm going to click this link and it should halt progress for us in the console. So that's good. Now we have an instance of tweet, right? We do. Okay. So if I say retweet, is there a tweet? There is. Okay. I think I understand if I do retweet dot save, what's going to happen here. Okay. We get an error validation failed. Body's too short. Okay. I think I remember why this was happening. So what we need to do is go into our model uh tweet right here we have validates that a length um should be in place and that means traditionally for most tweets that will be fine but a retweet's not going to have a body at all so there's no it, it says allow blank basically and we don't allow blank so what i want to do is if only you can do it like an inline thing. This is kind of nice. You can do an unless statement here and I'll just say tweet ID is present essentially. So that's a short way to say if there is a tweet ID, just forget this one altogether. So it might not be perfect solution, but it is one that works in our case, I believe. So let me try this once more. Uh, we are stuck in our debugger state though. So let me hit control D there, hit E Y there. It should run through. Then I'll do bin dev again and make sure you remove that debugger or comment it out. And let's try this once more. There we go. So we are getting it to work. Um, it's kind of funky in how it's rendering, but that's fine. So I'm signed in as John Doe. If I retweet this, it gets retweeted, but I'm not rendering the right partial. So that's what's probably the problem. And we need to update the index to accommodate that. So right now we just have the index rendering just the basic tweet. Uh, and we need that to be a little more dynamic in how it does that. So unfortunately we need to extract this out and go the old way of tweets.each do, and then we'll render the tweet through. This is where it gets a little more um, dynamic and cool with partials, you can do this. So we'll say partial and then we're gonna pass in tweets as our namespace since that's coming from that folder. Then we can say tweet, tweet type. Now this might fail for you if um, you're doing quote tweets because I, I spelt it with a dash instead of an underscore. So you might need to do some like, what's the word parameterize that makes sure it's a slug format essentially. And then um, we'll pass in our local variables. In this case, I'll, I'll be explicit. Okay, and I need our uh, final quotation mark there. 
And this needs to be tweets. Got something off. Run method tweet type. There we go. Now we're rendering the right one. So you see we're rendering retweet here because we've got that that markup there. Um, so let me um, try that once more. So it's doing it. It looks like it's removing from the DOM though. So something's up with that. Go back as Andy WebCrunch. All right, so I can retweet these, which works. I think what's wrong here is I'm, I'm doing the wrong. All right, so in order to save a significant amount of time, I went down a rabbit hole of, uh, I found a bug that I originally didn't spot in the initial, initial build of this. What I ended up doing is going and spotting that in my retweet action, I wasn't retweeting, or I wasn't passing through the retweet instance. I was only passing through the original tweet which doesn't quite match up to what we'd expect when you do create a retweet. You want that to render the one that was retweeted. So kind of confusing, but ultimately I figured it out, I think. Uh, so in here, instead of this being a local variable, I changed it to an instance variable. Then I queried for it to make sure it's saved. Then if it did, we'll pass it through to the retweet. And then here is where it gets different than our create. So right here is our create. And we're passing the original tweet through, which is fine. Um, cause the initial tweet's going to be a tweet and in the retweet sense, we need to do a similar functionality, but we need to pass through the right partial. So I've got the retweet partial and then I pass through the tweet, um, as retweet. So again, confusing, but then we're getting into our, um, partial here. So the retweet is going to be the, the instance for everything. So if that makes any sense, I don't know that it will, but. In the, any case, if I retweet this one or this one or this one, um, let me say, let me create a test tweet from this account just so you see that's two different accounts. If I retweet, retweet the, say the longest one here, it jumps to the top, it says I retweeted it, functions as you'd expect. So pretty cool. Um, finally got that to work. I was ripping my hair out to be completely honest. So I'm glad I finally figured it out. I wanted to update you all with that. So retweeting, so to speak, is complete. Um, you can retweet this over and over and over. I think you'd probably be considered spam at that point, but up to you if you want to like put um, any kind of limit on something like that. That's more logic to add to the app, of course, so keep that in mind. Um, before I did, um, in a previous part, I tried to add like a, when you deleted all the tweets, there was a destroy um, some logic here to re-display this empty state. I just honestly X that from the destroy part for now. I don't foresee that many people just going through and deleting all their tweets, so there's none left ever. Um, but when you do create a tweet, it's still not there. So when you do create, we'll render that empty state and dynamically remove it if there is a tweet. So um, I haven't found a great solution there. It's pretty hacky, so ultimately I don't know what to suggest there. Um, it's one thing that I was just like trying to wrap my hand head around to figure out and make sure it would work, but it was kind of a hard one to figure out. So it is what it is. Okay, so in this coming up part, I'm going to work on adding comments to the app, which real world, uh, a tweet is gonna be a, a comment. This app is gonna be a little bit different. We're just gonna kind of dumb it down and make use of comments in a different way. Hello Rails is my new course on Ruby on Rails. I'll teach you Ruby on Rails from the ground up. Visit hellorails.io for more information.